Unites.com, redefining Bollywood. Thank you very much, everyone. This is. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, His Excellency, Excellency Vidya Sagar Rauji, Shukriya, uh, for gracing this occasion and taking time out and uh, um, felicitating me with this extremely uh, honorable award. Um, I also, obviously, uh, first of all, thank everyone here on the dais, Padmini Ji, Dut Saab, Shashi Saab, Shatru Saab, uh, Subhara Amiradi Saab, he's been also, as you noticed, figuring out how the function should proceed. <laughs> so, thank you for the extra benefit, <laughs> apart from having called us here. No extra time for that, but thank you for the job you did. And uh, thank you, Simiji, uh, Pam Aunty. Uh, thank you for waiting so long and uh, uh, taking this time out and thinking of me as the next recipient of the Yash Chopra Award, Memorial Award. Thank you, Jaya Pradaji. I have to say it as inappropriate as it may sound. All my young life, I had the hots for you, <laughs> but I just uh, never got the opportunity to say it. You're telling all good stories, me coming to your house. As I just found you extremely good looking and, okay, I'm getting carried away. Uh, Governor Saab is here, so I should not. Uh, thank you, Anu. And uh, last but not the least, um, I would like to presume I'm a favorite because all the awards, important awards I've got in my life have been given to me by this lady. Thank you, Rekha Ji, for loving me so much. And <coughs> so before I say anything else, and thank you, all my colleagues, directors, and producers, and friends who are uh, here and been kind enough to wait so long to listen to this. Uh, uh, but b before I move on to what this award means to me or what Mr. Uh, yes Chopra meant to me or what I became because of Mr. Yes Chopra, I'd just like to say I have, um, <coughs> you know, I come and I work. I've been here working 25 years and uh, there is nothing else I know but to just wear makeup in the morning, go and do my job, sometimes get it right, more often than not get it wrong. Um, there's been extreme love uh, from the film industry and uh, when I came to Mumbai, I'd lost my mother and my father and my sister wasn't well. I had no family and before I knew it, from the first day onwards, uh, some of them are present here on the dais and that's why I'm bringing this up and others who are not here but the Mumbai film industry, the Indian film industry, everyone adopted me so much that today I have a family of more than a billion. So thank you so much, the Indian film industry and everyone here on the dais. I have, today when Shatru Saab speaks, uh, I do tend to gain in confidence that if there is any panga I have in the future, uh, or I've had in the future before this, and I do get into pangas, um, I know who to call, who you're gonna call, Khamosh. So thank you so much. It gives you confidence, it gives you strength. Uh, Padmini Ji, I've known for years, I think, um, one of the most beautiful young actresses of her times, you know, at a very early age, the kind of performances always led the path for actors, yearning actors like me to look up to and say how wonderfully she's acted in the films that she did. And whenever I've met her, she met me with immense amount of kindness and love. So thank you, Padmini Ji, for saying what you said, uh, thinking of me as a fine actor too. So thank you very much. That gives me confidence. Um, Simi and... I, I, sorry, I'm, I should call her Simi G. Uh, but Simi and me shared a very, very old relationship. I was a nobody. Uh, to be featured on the Simi Greval night show uh, was genuinely when you arrived and became a big star. And I remember um, she called me upon that. And strangely, that's one of the few interviews. Those were the good old days when you can smoke on television. Um, and, I'm, I, and she called me and I, uh, my wife had delivered her first baby. And it made me an overnight star because I was on the Simi Greval show and she gave me that kind of import and believed that I would go on to uh, do well for myself and the film industry. So thank you, Simi, for recognizing and giving me that confidence at that time. Uh, Jaya Padaji, of course, I told you at the hot spurs. Let's see. <coughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to say different things for you, baby, don't worry. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to be completely against the protocol and get <coughs> arrested tonight right here. <laughs> Even though I have Khamosh behind me. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't know, he might not be able to help me. He might have to go for some campaign for some election. He says, 
Shahrukh, I'm going to go. But I don't want to take that chance. So I'll still be here. Uh, this is a very special night for me. And I'll start with the fact that this is what I least expected, to get Rakhi tied by Rekha. This is, <laughs> this has to be the saddest moment of my life. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to tell her when she was recounting that I woke her up in the plane and said, wake up, wake up. Sunset dekhi hai, koon nama cool sunset dikha raha tha jane man aapko. Hama aapse baat karna cha rahe the. Aapki shakal dekhna cha rahe the. But he was of my nature showing me the sunset. No, I wasn't showing you the sunset, Rekha ji. Not at all. And today God has punished me because as much as I didn't want you to see the sunset and just sit down and chat with me, look you into the eyes and tell you how much I love you, you have tied Rakhi to me. अभी इनसे पहले सुबह सुबह रामा रेडी साहब जो मेरे बहुत पुराने दोस्त हैं और बहुत सालों से हमको जानते हैं यस जी मैं साथ में बैठ के आई हैव स्ट्रेंज बेड फेलोज यस जी एंड सुबह रामा रेडी जी मच बी ऑन माई एज एंड वी टू सिट डाउन इन चैट फॉर आवर्स एंड ही इज लाइक शत्रु साहब सेट वन ऑफ द काइंडस्ट पीपल यूल एवर मीट एवर यू आर इन ट्रेवल गॉड फॉर विट ही इज द पर्सन that you call and he's always there um, you know in all his glory in all his outgoingness in all his love and sharing nature including the shivji prayer that he taught us today thank you so much that was that was really really cool i mean yeah that was uh, i mean it sounded like we could make it into a cool rap one day but it was really nice for praying for us but uh, and then pam aunty specifically who's like a surrogate mother to me i have uh, Uh, grown up with her in this family and i know it's to preserve treated me like a child uh, you know when i was a nobody and made me and all this all these people here and all of you people here uh, so many of you thank you for waiting all of you i know i'm talking about most of you present and i know all of you and to give me the confidence that i can go on that i can stand here 25 years later perhaps uh, receiving the biggest honor of my life and um, before i leave and thank you more and be even more grateful for this honor i just want to tell you a few episodes of my life with yesg when i started with yesg i started with a film called dar in which i was really a bad guy and i was killing people and misbehaving uh, completely even without being on drugs and uh, that was that was really really intense and i remember yesg met me and he said tu jab tak lover boy play nahi karega na tera kuch nahi hone ka hai but i didn't want to be a lover boy i didn't want to be a person in love i'm not very uh, good with romance except when i'm showing sunset to rekha uh, that time i'm really cool <laughs> but I, i i really am not and i didn't know if i could i didn't think i'm good looking enough i didn't think i'm a pretty boy enough to play romance in films and do the stuff but he kept on telling me always jab tak tu love story nahi karega tera career nahi banega and when yash chopra tells you that then you say okay there must be some sense to it so if i don't look like a uh, uh, you know a romantic hero even if i don't act like one i have to just go by his belief and i did and it it genuinely did pay dividends it really has created my career yash chopra has single handedly created my career to for me to become i mean it's a very strange circle that i should be receiving an award uh, which honors him by the memory of yash chopra and i am who i am because of what yash chopra made me do and made me into so i thank him for that my second instance that i'd like to tell you about him is that he told me uh, we had some problems once making a film and he turned around and i must have behaved well and he said outdoor jab actors jaate hai na to unka jab wahan par behavior dekha jata hai tab malum padta hai kitne acche hote hain ye mumbai mein malum nahi padta hai yaar um, i'm not speaking like him because people think i'm making fun of him i would do it out of love then say like how yes you told me pata nahi chalta yaar ki kitna आउटडोर में मालूम पड़ता है और आउटडोर में तो बड़ा शरीफ है यार हर तरह से सो आई सेड थैंक यू एंड देन आई सेड यस जी बट रियली वाई डू से दैट एंड आई थॉट गिव मी सम स्पील इज ए तो बॉम्बे में तो बहुत ज़्यादा लेट आता है आउटडोर पे तो टाइम पे तो आ जाता है एटलीस्ट एंड द थर्ड वॉज वैन आई वॉज इन कैशमेर लाइक आई सेट आई है माई फादर वॉज हिज हिज मदर वॉज कश्मीरी एंड ही ऑलवेज सेट दैट इफ देर इज वन Uh, place in the world that you don't go and see without me it should be uh, kashmir and uh, so i didn't go ever i remember the chief minister saab the ex chief minister saab met me and he also invited me i said many aunga mere pita ne kaha tha mere baap ne kaha tha ki wahan pe sirf mere sa jana warna mat jana and i didn't go till yes you decided to make jab tak hai jaan de and uh, i went so like i said in the 
documentary for me it was going back and going and visiting kashmir the most beautiful place in the world that my father said and i went with my father and my family so i thank him for that and i do remember i was giving my last shot my akhri shot de raha tha jeep ke upar and yes you did come to me and say tu ja yaar tu ash kar tera last shot ho gaya hamara bhi abhi last shot hi hoga and uh, like he said in the interview we did 3 weeks before he passed away um, that he he didn't want to make any more films but i think somewhere deep down inside there was one more film i could have done with mr yash chopra actually there was one more film each one of us could have watched of mr yash chopra actually there was not just one more film we could keep on watching one more and one more and one more and one more and do one more and do one more and act in one more and just be a part of one more film of mr yash chopra uh, but only the good die young uh, allah does take away from you things that are the dearest and the most special and so did he take away perhaps one of the most creative human beings one of the simplest one of the basic um do good a kind hearted soul i have met in my life uh in the last couple of years i was working with some directors and you know you have your conversation with the young people and i was talking to them and while talking to them you know uh, half an hour i discussed the film we are doing and one and a half hour even till day before yesterday i think i was with mr anand rai the next one and a half hour all i discuss is how mr yash chopra made you feel on the sets how mr yash chopra directed you on the set how mr yash chopra more than direction and made you feel loved you on the set how mr yash chopra served you parathas on the set so i'm i'm going to miss him this is an extremely emotional moment and uh, even though i feel it from the inside i don't want to externalize it because this has been a long evening for me one of the most important evenings of my life to be honest because like i said to begin with uh, the set of people who are here talking such wonderful nice things about me showing me a documentary where i seem to have achieved a lot none of this is possible if it wasn't for all the beauty and the love and the kindness and gentleness and even now the enthusiasm um everybody gives me whenever i meet them i'm not well mannered i am just been well brought up by the indian film industry so thank you all of you belonging to the indian film industry for bringing me up so well <laughs> and yes i do uh, agree with shatru saab when he said that his excellency did mention about that i stand for the culture and i stand for what an indian should be and that's a very nice thing to say sir so thank you very much for being so kind to me and saying that for each actor and each actress and all of us uh, working hard to make things go better and become as beautiful as the memory of mr yash chopra so thank you everyone present here for honoring me with this thanks a lot god bless you all thank you thank you for watching click on the subscribe button and stay tuned